Hello, everyone. Um, this is Dr. Reginald Martin from the Department of English, University of Memphis, and uh, my uh, presentation is called A Whole New World, African-American Transcultural Theory and New Readers Reading. The use of the very word theory um, is in question right now, and so are literary theories, especially as African-American literary theories or African-American literary-based theories uh, come into conflict with European-based theories, which say that uh, essentially everything that you need is in the text, and that uh, extra-textual factors that are happening at the time or before the time of the writing are insignificant. Uh, this is a turn, as I call it, in cultural perception. The irony of it all, of course, any battle uh, between different schools of theory is that outside of the academy, no one cares. And they certainly don't care about our philosophical disagreements or our turf battles and things like that. Um, also, uh, to our discredit, uh, theorists have uh, been wrong many times, uh, stupid other times, and in general uh, made the perception of theory impenetrable uh, to the lay reader. And that's going to be a problem with any new theory, such as the one I'm trying to promote, called transcultural theory. important to note that by transcultural theory, which is my term for a, a reader's different perceptions of American canonical texts, those readers are non-American. That's what I mean by transcultural theory, and this has become more and more prominent uh, because uh, American higher ed is still considered uh, to be the greatest higher ed system in the world, and thus through forced globalism we have many, many foreign graduate students studying canonical American texts. So I do not mean by transcultural theory uh, what Mikhail Epstein and Ellen Berry mean in their great 1999 book, uh, Transcultural Experiments, Russian and American Models of Creative Communication. They are talking about the comparison between uh, American readers reading and how their theories are presented, and Russian readers reading, and how uh, their perceptions are rendered. Um, that's um, just comparing uh, nationalistic readings by the same group. Uh, transcultural theory for me is uh, a grid of new readers perceiving, let's say, Moby Dick or Invisible Man differently than Americans ever thought to perceive those works. Anyone who is still reading theory, you know, as I do every day, and trying to keep up, keep up on the trends, uh, knows that uh, at or around 1992, 94, and there, um, the theorists were really lucky, um, and I think signed a non-aggression pact treaty so that everything could be lumped under cultural criticism. Uh, now, nothing would be out of bounds, and... Um, all new things could be considered under the big cultural criticism umbrella. And that's certainly a step in the right direction of getting more people to pay attention to the importance of theory. A really key canonical work that everyone should read or reread is Clarence Major's A Black Criterion. Total Life is What We Want, which was originally published in 1967, is from um, a rereading of that text through a transcultural grid that I began to see certain patterns. Because ultimately in that piece, Major says, <clears throat> we understand, we meaning African Americans in 1967, that by being accepted into the matrix, uh, we will have 
many of the problems inherent in the mainstream matrix. But that's okay. Uh, total life is what we want. We expect to get punished. Well, in 2012, one of the uh, punishments uh, or assets uh, to being uh, in total life is that mm, African-American based theories may get subsumed by cultural criticism and will certainly get subsumed by transcultural theorists uh, as readers from China, let's say, or readers from India, both of whom I've experienced rereading canonical American texts, will begin to subsume uh, earlier African-American theory, especially um, new black aesthetic theory. So here all theorists find themselves, not just in America, but all over the world at the beginning of this um, hard-hearted millennium. Uh, we're going to have to respond to the globalist disdain for theory, uh, for any kind of writing uh, that does not agree with the globalist agenda. And we're going to have to, as state legislatures are fond of saying to all professors, get back to basics. a new subset of cultural criticism, my transcultural theory, has come about by the forced coming together of readers from different cultures and nations. Transcultural theory suggests that non-native readers perceive a text differently and for different uses than does a native reader. I do not know how my theory will be impacted by online theory or online reading where the foreign reader is not really in the parent culture of the literature. We shall see. United States scholars still have a great opportunity. Um, not much of an opportunity, but it's a great one um, to influence um, the wrongheadedness of this world through their theories and with the help of foreign readers, this can have even more impact. Um, we will see if transcultural theory provides any power for anyone who's not related to the globalists. To sum up, the African American writers of the 60s and 70s hoped to create a new world within the United States, a nation within a nation. They failed. Yet, foreign readers embrace black nationalist writing as though the nationalists won. Very interesting. Foreign readers see hope in African American nationalist literature for carving new worlds for themselves by using a nationalist literature as a blueprint for social change and secession. For example, southern China would secede from Beijing tomorrow on the literature of Amiri Baraka and Addison Gale if it could or if it were allowed to. I thank you for watching this presentation. This is Dr. Reginald Martin, uh, University of Memphis. I can be contacted via email at rmartin, R-M-A-R-T-I-N, 100, rmartin100, at comcast.net. Thank you. Again, thanks to everyone for viewing the entire print version of my thoughts here and uh, the basis for the PowerPoint presentation uh, is in print and it can be accessed uh, from the proceedings of the May 2012 Hawaii International Conference on Social Sciences and the link is included below and with control click that link should take you straight to the complete print article if you wish to access it. Again, thanks so much.